हेलो गाइस अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड अ वेरी हैप्पी दशहरा टू यू ऑल सो दिस ऑन दिस दशहरा लेट अस रिजॉल्व दैट लाइक लॉर्ड राम वी विल आल्सो क्रैक आवर एग्जामिनेशन वी विल आल्सो बी डिटरमाइंड टू अचीव आवर गोल्स बिकॉज लॉर्ड राम वाज द वाज वन आर्किटाइप फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस दैट स्टैंड्स फॉर द डिटरमिनेशन बिकॉज ऑफ हिज डिटरमिनेशन ही वाज एबल टू डिफीट रावण हु वाज सच अ ग्रेट लीडर सच अ ग्रेट वॉरियर सो taking lessons from lord ram let us resolve ourselves that in today's dashera or this year from now onwards we will be preparing hard for our examination and also since this is dashera and a lot of festivals are coming up therefore it is very important for you all to stay focused because this is a time of festivity where we also go array we also try, want to enjoy the festivals okay enjoy the festivals i'm not saying that you need to just stick to the exams prepare for the exams only no enjoy the festivals spend time with your family and friends but also take out your time for studying also be it only for 2 to 3 hours that's also okay but take out your time okay and this video i will try to make it short and crisp so that you will get the time to celebrate your dashara happily okay so let's quickly begin this video but before that if you haven't subscribed the channel then do subscribe and the pdf of this video will be provided to you on our telegram channel okay so here is our first question how many dedicated heli hubs will be developed under the new helicopter policy so here the right answer is four so recently the new helicopter policy has been launched by ministry of civil aviation in order to increase the infrastructure for helicopters in india okay so we have one scheme udan that is the regional air connectivity scheme that aims to connect the remotest areas or different indian cities with the air uh, air route air travel okay but this has nothing to do with udan first of all udan i mentioned because udan is one scheme that is implemented by this ministry of civil aviation so in udan the focus is on the aeroplane services okay that are run by different companies of course but here the focus is on helicopters so developing the infrastructure for helicopters and in order to do that this policy has been launched so under this policy four dedicated heli hubs will be de uh, developed at ba bangalore mumbai guwahati and delhi exact locations within these cities have not been revealed yet except for mumbai so mumbai's exact location is juhu where this hub will be established and these hubs will have all the facilities for helicopter parking taking off and whatever is required for the helicopter travel that will be provided in the heli hubs okay next is dedicated helicopter corridors will also be established now these corridors will be the air routes okay so there would be specified air routes air corridors that will be for helicopters only so that will also be developed across 10 cities and 82 identified routes as a starting three dedicated helicopter corridors are being starting are being started at juhu pune juhu uh, route mahalakshmi race course pune mahalakshmi race course gandhinagar ahmedabad to gandhinagar okay so these are the three helicopter routes that have been inaugurated as the uh, in order to mark the commencement of this new policy under the new policy the government will also upgrade heli seva portal okay so do remember this na the name of this portal this will provide you with the necessary approval for operating helicopter okay so that is the purpose of this heli seva portal that was all about the new helicopter policy now let's have a look at the next question which of the following app has been launched by the union minister of ports shipping and waterways for promoting transparency and easy access to port related information my ports ports india sea ports uh, port darshan sagarmala so what is the right name the right name is my ports and the purpose is very clear that is to promote transparency in the shipping operations in the ports operations as well as provide easy access to the information related to the ports so this is a step towards promoting ease of doing business 
in India, okay? Because there are many businessmen who operate their work from the ports itself. Export import take place at the ports. So this application will be helpful for them. Next is what is the upper limit of immediate payment service (IMPS)? So two lakh, five lakh, six lakh, three lakh, seven lakh. Earlier the limit was two lakhs, but right now, recently RBI has increased this limit to rupees five lakhs. Now, guys, IMPS is one service that provides you with instant payment. If you want to do uh, transfer the payments online, then IMPS is one service. Next is RTGS and you have NEFT. So recent developments in RTGS and NEFT has ma have made both of these services available for 24-7. RBI has made these services available for 24-7. IMPS, which was already available for 24-7, now the limit for doing the transactions by using IMPS has been increased to 5 lakhs. So these steps are a way or basically these are doing or increasing the payment digital payment ecosystem in India okay so as you can see this is the increased limit IMPS which has been developed by NPCI National Payment Corporation of India provides 24 7 instant domestic fund transfer facility now this service is accessible through internet banking mobile banking banks, ATM, SMS and IVRS. If you want to use this service via SMS and IVRS, then the per transaction limit should be 5000. Okay. So that is the cap. That is the limit for uh, doing IMPS service via SMS or IVRS. Which bank has launched? 6S campaign under a customer outreach program to extend financial services at a concessional rate during the festive season. So here, Federal Bank, Punjab National Bank, Central Bank of India. Okay, again, option D may, it's not Federal Bank, it's uh, Canada Bank. Okay, in the option. Then in the option E, you have Bank of Baroda. So which one is the right answer guys? The right answer is option B, Punjab National Bank. So this bank has launched this campaign. Uh, basically, this is a marketing campaign for this bank. But these kinds of campaigns are important because RBI said in NABAD tend to ask such kinds of questions. NABAD has already gone. The phase one has already gone. But your RBI and SEBI are still impending. So they can be, uh, they can be held at the end of this year or in the beginning of this year, no matter what, whatever is the time period in which RBI and SEBI is taking the examination, but such kinds of campaigns are important and they can be asked in your exam. Now, under this campaign, basically, Punjab National Bank will extend the financial services to the consumers at concessional rates. And the 6S stands for Swabhiman, Samruddhi, Sampark, Shikhar. Sankalp and Swagat. So these are the six S. Which of the following has been recently declared as the fundamental human right by United Nations Human Rights Council? Right to access to clean and healthy environment, right to digital, digital equity, right to free movement, right to free trade, right to basic public utilities. The right answer here is option A. So recently, UNHCR has declared right to access to free, to clean and healthy environment as a fundamental human right. So that is very important for your exam point of view and a very good initiative from UNHCR. And this initiative has been ta taken because nowadays the environment deterioration, deterioration has increased a lot. Air pollution is one, uh, one hot topic and the one raging issues which we are suffering the most okay now we have uh, the headquarters of UNSCR in Geneva Switzerland and in 1948 the universal declaration of human rights was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly and it has more than 20 human rights enshrined in this declaration 
for example right to education right to uh, right to prevent violence torture there are various rights in this declaration you don't have to memorize each one of them just know that this is the latest addition in the fundamental human rights by UNHCR so guys here this session ends a very happy to share again to you all i have left to you early so i hope that you prepare hard enjoy your festival and do your best thank you